to celebrate Black History Month here on Live in the D. And today we are taking a look at two parts of Detroit's past that helped Detroit become what it is today. These were two neighborhoods that included one area that some say could have been a modern day Bourbon Street. Photographer Alex Atwell shares the uniquely Detroit story of Black Bottom and Paradise Valley. We're looking south toward downtown and the Detroit River. A lot of rich history here on Detroit's Lower East Side. Black Bottom and Paradise Valley. So everybody from Black Bottom, Paradise Valley, there was hustlers. Detroit is a hustling city. Anybody that leave Detroit and go anywhere in the country and become leaders because they have that hustle instinct. And I think that just come natural from the area that we came up from. The major line to look at when you talk about the differences between the two communities, Gratiot Avenue, everything south of Gratiot was Black Bottom. Black Bottom was the area where we stayed at. The name Black Bottom comes not from a section where black people lived, but for the rich topsoil. In the 1800s, it was largely a farming community. And north of Gratiot was the community known as Paradise Valley. Paradise Valley was a place where you had Jackie Gleason, Milton Burrow, Cab Calloway, anybody came in town. That's where they stayed at and they partied. And uh, it was like Bourbon Street that you have in New Orleans. That's what we had in Detroit back then. Being born and raised up on Hastings Street, I used to go down there to dance to an old club called the Sedan uh, when I was a teenager, and we were into dancing. Paradise Valley was essentially the business and cultural center of the black community in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. The nightlife was great. You would dress up. Back then, people believed in dressing. Guys would get dressed up, go to the barbershop, get clean up party, and all up and down the street, like you said, even to the record shops, they would be playing music and people would open up late. You had all the stars that were stars of somebody came to Detroit, okay? And we had the top musicians here back then. My house, every other house was a joint, so it was after our joint. So uh, music was going on 24-7. used to play right next door. Uh, I went to sleep every night, listen to the blues. If you were at Ford Field in Comerica Park, that was the heart of Paradise Valley. That is where all of the businesses were. Uh, they've all been demolished now. <laughs> Beginning in 1959, I-375 and I-75, the Chrysler Freeway, took out Hastings Street. And I'm gonna give you my viewpoint of it. The plan that Eisenhower came when he was president, urban renewal was when they was bringing the freeways. So every freeway that went through any area went through the black area and eliminated the black clubs, black businesses, and our area was Hastings Street. What do you think we're missing that's not here now that would have been if that neighborhood would still be there. You would have a Bourbon Street feeling, and you don't have that. Jazz, blues, and music bring people of all colors, all nationalities. I think history is so important, though, Alex. Kids, I, I sure wish some kind of way that they could have seen these things and maybe know the history. If you grew up in Black Bottom, Everybody knew uh, each other. Everybody knew everybody. My dad had a pool room on Hastings. He ran it with a steel fist. There was a strong sense of a community and really in effect, that's what America, when at her best, is all about. It was like paradise. <laughs> it was certainly a paradise for African Americans where they could own businesses, where they could go hear great jazz music or rhythm and blues, be amongst each other and, and live in harmony. What a great piece. Absolutely. We're all sitting here in the studio talking with one another how we wish we could have seen some of it, right? Getting a time machine, go back in the day before the freeways came in. and uh, Yeah. Would have been nice to see how that would have turned out otherwise. Yeah.